The Toledo women's basketball team also returning this afternoon by bus. Rockets did play yesterday in Cleveland. You may recall the Utah Jazz, which had two players test positive for the coronavirus, played in that facility on March 2nd. Cavs CEO saying the timeline suggests that the risk was very low, that the affected players actually had contracted the virus and had it while they were in Cleveland. Rockets had upset the top-seeded Central Michigan Chippewas and were facing a wide-open bracket that could have resulted in their second trip to the Big Dance in four years. But with today's cancellations, Toledo is back home with their season over. It's been very surreal. Uh, this is such an unprecedented event, you know, and, and it's been snowballing. Um, you know, I don't think you're ever prepared for it because we've never seen anything like it. In, in my lifetime. And so my, my thoughts just go out to our seniors. You know, it's our last time to wear a uniform. And it sounds crazy as right now because that's all I wanted to do is finish the season. And I knew we were going to do good because it was a feeling that we all had it and we talked about it. But it's nothing that anybody could have done. There's a lot of tears, you know, um, from everyone. Uh, you know, our group has given an awful lot. And I do think we were clicking at the right time. And uh, I feel for them. I think it's really tough, especially for us seniors, to um, come off a really good game. We were feeling good, and we thought this was going to be the beginning of something. And then, unluckily, it ended in a different way. But I'm still proud of everything we have done. We have accomplished a lot, and people didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm proud, and I'm happy that we ended on a good note. What's really hard, too, is just I think we, this team was peaking at the right time. We had been through so much adversity, and they stuck together. Um, they could have easily, you know, been disgruntled and argued, and as we see many people do when they go through adversity, and yet they stayed extremely strong. Uh, I think our chemistry shined through. This group really loved each other. They care about each other, and we still found a way to play really well, to knock off the number one team twice in a week. I mean, are you kidding me after everything we've been through? Uh, that was what was so disappointing was I, I just wanted to see what we could do and our team had a lot of confidence they were loving every second of that tournament and so that's unfortunate uh, but there's a lot of stories that are going to be like that in the country uh, and uh, you know I think we all have to keep the bigger picture in mind and I, I'm sad for the teams that would have made it for the first time even if they were just going to play one game I, I, I feel for them I feel for seniors that you know had a chance to it may be experienced for the first time or play for a national championship you know, that's experiences they could never have back. And we all know there was some pretty incredible teams. You know, we've got a local player who was having a chance as a freshman to play for probably a national championship. So I think there's a lot of ripples to be felt. But I think the one thing we have to take into consideration is we all have our health. And if we don't have that, we don't have sports. So the most important thing is that we all take precautions to stay safe. And, you know, we have to do whatever we have to do, and, and I think those drastic measures are showing just how serious this virus is.